Nope. Hello guys, my name is Nozazaki, and clearly I am I am a wonderful little bird pilot. I I was very surprised any of that happened, obviously, but we're playing on Strike It Karkin, and I know I don't I don't think I've shown a Karkin gameplay yet, but Karkin's weird, and also the AUG is weird, but we will get to both of those things later, but these Carls, man, just are you not expecting me to be Okay, there he is. I get the first guy, and that's why I love the AUG. And then the second guy, oh, this fence is going to protect me. Got to reload. And then it's not going to save you. That fence is not going to save you. And third guy pokes his grubby little face out. And that's that That completes the trifecta. And I believe, no, I don't get the fourth guy because the tank intervenes. And I was going to go back for, for my quad, but not going to work. And this guy did not want to get up, man. Rise and shine, bro. Come on, Jamal. Get it together. But... The game started out really, really strong, I thought. Uh, obviously, the tank intervenes here and really, like, um, the tank's right there. I am not gonna, I'm just gonna make sure I don't get shot in my stupid face for eating the last of the pizza rolls by this tank, but eventually he moves to the side of the building and I figure it's safe enough to get up top. And basically, once, once I'm up here, that's the end. And I see the guy. Don't you run from me, Carl. Don't you run from me. And he ends up jumping off the building. And he, oh, I'm gonna go shoot all your teammates in the stupid face. Well, uh, get the get one half of him, and then I get the second half right there. And uh, yeah, and obviously the tank at this point knows I'm here. But like I said, once you're up here, that's the death blow. Like if you can stay on top of that bu this building as an attacker, uh, your team automatically wins. You gotta be wary of snipers in the back, and you've gotta be wary of defenders. Obvious, obviously, and. Do not shoot my teammates, Carl, okay? And I, I go immediately down to rise and shine, Jamal. And I don't know how I broke, like, look at the amount of damage I took there. That was, what, 68% of my health? Just, uh, break all of your kneecaps forever. That's, that's what happened there. And I get the second gentleman. And this is what I want to talk about. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry about all the snotty goodness that's going on in my nose and a little bit in my mouth right now. But I'm a little bit, s it's not that I'm sick, you know, like, it's very, very chilly outside, and I don't know if this happens to you guys, but when I, when I get, s when it's chilly outside, I don't exactly get sick, but my nose is always running, and it doesn't exactly feel pleasant, and I don't believe I get this gentleman here. But we get, we get, uh, B, it's actually B. And that was, that was like, so easy, and I'm like, oh, well, I guess I can do nothing, and my team will... No, it, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't not work that way, but... As you can see, the, the recon over there destroys my teammate. And I'm wa I wait for him to poke his face back out, and just... Not a good idea. That's not a good idea on my part. Never want to engage a recon that's head glitching, even at this range, with the AUG. And we will talk about the AUG later, but... And see, that's exactly... I don't know how I live that fall. Like, before, I would have broken all my knees, but apparently I have one left. And I am not going to engage that recon from that range. I will let my uh, I will let my teammates take care of that. And as you can see, they defused over there. So, obviously, I'm going to have to head... You know, head over there myself and ensure that we get this MCOM. And... I, I just don't even know what... Like, is there anything I need to say more than that? And I, 
I don't even need to ins assist that guy. My team's so cash. And I got myself into a little bit of a pickle right here, okay? I th I do something I wouldn't recommend. I don't I I don't take my own advice hardly ever, and I don't know why. Okay. I should just run across the street right there to A. Now, I believe they have their lava, but I should just run across the street, and I do not. And I just I'm gonna sit here where where B was. That's a fine and dandy idea as I get this gentleman eventually. He posed a little bit of a pickle, but I clean him up with the AUG, and again, that's, well, it's not again, I haven't talked about the AUG, but uh, we, we will talk about the AUG, and that guy down there gets cleaned up by a teammate, and this guy, you see the orange, uh, don't want to engage him from that angle, so you slither your way over here, and yeah, nice one, nice one, and my teammate again managed to clean him up, and at this point, I realized I have no ammo, and... Carl, give me ammo. Carl, give me ammo. I'm, I'm spamming the back button. I'm, gonna, I'm, I throw him a med pack. Try and knife. I teabag. I don't know what to do. Like, eventually he throws down a bro box for his squad. But I had to follow him around forever. It's like, bro, just, bro. And I just feel like so many supports do that. And that is one thing you will notice about this game. Nobody used their equipment effectively. Okay, I get ammo. But it's not, it's not even a big deal because, as you'll see here, I am a giant idiot, alright? I am a complete idiot. I don't even know why I do these things. Okay, you can hear the... You can hear up on the rooftop. And, oh boy, I just... That's great. And as you'll notice, there were several assaults around me. But nobody on this team seemed to revive. Ever. Every time I died, it was like, nah, it's the end. And... I don't quite get this gentleman, but don't you cross the street on me, Carl. That is not going to work. Now, that is mistake number one in a mistake-filled series of events. So, I get this gentleman here because I have resounding accuracy. And I'm just shooting because every time you see black in this game, it's a Russian. And I have no idea how this works. I chunk that guy and then Wesley snipes. What? How did... I don't, I don't understand why people would just sit on grenades all day. I don't, I never get it. Just, There's your first day, pick it up. it's just so silly to me, but I'm, I, this is the nice beginning of a new streak, right? I'm just, the game is going to go along as planned. And I get this gentleman here is distracted by the Mav, I guess. I don't understand, but this didn't make sense to me. This right here. Okay. That guy gets picked up by a teammate and really team, really? You cannot pick off the guy lurking in our spawn until he conveniently kills me. That's just wonderful, if you ask me. That's mistake number two, right? Mistake number one is being a Carl and running in there. Mistake number two is is a, trusting my teammates to clear out our spawn. Now, I, sh I I pulled out the lab and I shot the the bro in the stupid in his stupid face for trying to disarm the MCOM. But okay, I get hit by one RPG. My teammate cleans him up, but this is another mistake. I should be backing off right here because another RPG disables me and if nobody's reviving and nobody's throwing down a bro box you think any of these 20 engineers are gonna repair me well actually you would be surprised I do end up getting repaired here but look just I'm gonna take my sweet time to come repair you do for you do and I, I see the cloth monster I'm like well if this is the end of my tank I guess I can try and take him down but I, I can't and oh I'm finally gonna get repaired and don't you shoot RPGs at me while I'm getting repaired bro I get you with the LMG. The LMG is just so dandy, but that was the gentleman who shot me in the back with the RPK. And once again, he's sitting in the back. And mistake number, that was mistake number three. Mistake number four, engaging a recon from this range. Even, like, my accuracy isn't tremendous, but I am getting hits on him at least. You know, but from this range, he just, one in the face, I'm done. And I can hit him in the face like five times and... There you go. It's just, it's not that hard because he's, he's got him, he's clipping much harder than I am. It's just, it's just easy. And then mistake number four, my teammate, that's mistake number five. My teammate is dead. Why am I not prepared for the gentleman and his bro who are over there? And of course, an assault kills him, but no Jamal revive, no Jamal. So that is mistake number five.
And it's just... I thought the game was train wrecked, right? But apparently... Well... And then I make resounding mistake number six, alright? Resounding mistake number six. This guy is the guy who sniped me earlier and give me your sandwich, dog! Oh, I got my revenge, right? Mistake number six? Well, no, this is a mistake right here. You cannot full, full auto the AUG from that range. We'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. But mistake number six is, sh is trusting my teammate here. Because, oh boy, I get dunked on by a P90. And then the cloth monster come back, comes back in, and you saw the Carl on the balcony who couldn't even stand up to them. Even though I've already chunked both of them. Good job, Carl. But that that is the end of the mistakes, for the moment at least. Now I spawn, I spawn on my teammates here, and they nearly get slaughtered on me, so I gotta go back. And since I'm the only person in this game who actually revives, I guess I'll have to go pick somebody up, right? Right? I mean, I just didn't get how they couldn't, how none of them could revive, like, rise and shine, bro, but I'm, I'm the only person doing that, the only person, and finally, after, well, we're 40 tickets into the base, and finally I can get my game plan down, dude, for real, dude, my team, my team did a good job taking out A, but, I guess I'll have to go, you know, finish him off at B, and, from that range with the AUG, you can probably full auto, but I, I had that feeling that he's like on the balcony, and if I just if I just start full autoing and I miss a lot of those shots, he's going to creep away, and I did not want that, so no, and you see the laser coming up, I'm, you're not quite going to get me with your P90, but the guy up on the balcony, but that's how you know you're doing good in a game. You know you're doing good in a game if somebody rage tries an AUG, because I guarantee you he did not come into that game saying, I'm going to use the AUG, he says, my team is getting absolutely demolished by this guy with an AUG. Maybe I should use an AUG myself. And as you can see, at this point I thought, oh, the game is train wrecked. Let's, it's not even going to work. And I hear the beacon. I hear the beacon, Carl. And the recon thinks he's going to get away, but... Oh, just saying we're so bad, though, no, but... Oh, spawn for... Prote base protection. You got to shoot him in the back at that point. You have to shoot him in the back. I was... If it wasn't for that that 20 seconds, I would have chased after him. And uh, For anyone lurking around, I don't want to be spotted. But... what I want, Okay, what I want to talk to you guys about at this point is the AUG. The AUG... I did not realize the AUG was as good as it was until very, very recently. Uh, I would use the AUG offhand, and I don't get this gentleman. Somebody on my team cleans him up before I can actually get over there and get him, but... The AUG is very, very good at full autoing and longer bursts than most other assault rifles can manage. Like, yeah, the M416 probably destroys it because it has 50 rounds per minute faster and essentially less recoil somehow. But the AUG is just, the AUG is just so dandy. Just so dandy. And I always get worried because there's always some slime ball lurking in like a building over here, and I don't even know why that's protected from us. Like, we should definitely be able to, we should definitely be allowed to clear out the slime balls, but this is what I mean when I say the AUG is so dandy. Okay, I cleaned him up with the last bullet in the mag headshot, but you saw early on there, I destroyed him full autoing, and if I have any any accuracy at all, I can destroy him so easily just full autoing, and. And yet again, the AUG, man, is just so dandy. So dandy. It's just the ability to just hold down the trigger and have so little recoil for such a long period of time. I just find it astounding. Like, you can 5 to 7 round burst this thing so easily. And at medium ranges, like, I think at medium ranges, this thing is dominant. Straight up dominant. And I, I saw him go around the corner. I, I, he's blind and didn't see me, but... He's not coming back for seconds. And uh, good morning, Carl. Free, free. Feel free to just do whatever it is you're doing. And okay, you ready for this? Tricks I learned in Nom. Good morning, Carl. Run with your paddles out more. Oh god, the enemy team. And don't you're not gonna get away from me, bro, Chacho. Um, I I don't understand how I don't get him with the pistol, like. To me, it looks like I hit him with six bullets there with the pistol. Like, yeah, my accuracy isn't astounding, but I just don't understand. Like, I unloaded the pistol mag near him. How do I not land a shot? I guess I'm that inaccurate. 
I, I guess I am. And no, Carl. The smoke is not going to save you from the AUG. And this is exactly what I mean when I say the AUG is, is extremely dominant. Like, from here to their spawn, I don't even... It's so easy. It's so easy. And they tried to nade us out, but that's not going to work. And I essentially... I, you saw there, like, there's 4 billion guys who... I didn't know who to shoot, and I get naded out because I'm getting too, too greedy. Like, there were straight up, I think four guys there and I'm just like look at all these red guys who do I shoot first and I end up getting nobody because I'm greedy but all right you ready I spawned on the tank and I didn't understand these guys I did not understand these guys how they could be such blind Carls all right this is what I mean when I say what and no Carl you're not gonna see for the tank and you're not gonna knife me either and Good job, Cloth Monster. You should have easily destroyed me with your semi-auto easy mode sniper rifle, but apparently not. And I mean, there's just... It just didn't make sense to me. Like, okay, the first guy thought he could do it. The second guy thinks he can do it. The third guy... Th no. No, and there's the three-piece. Like, it's not even hard. I don't I don't get their team. And, uh, nice nade toss, bro. They just tried to nade us off of here, but it's like, day. you have bullets, bro? You know, that's not going to work, and look at them all. Well, another instance of who do I shoot first, and I end up not getting enough of them, okay? The second guy pops his stupid face out down there, and you're not going to escape the AUG somehow spray and pray him. And I think he was using a shotgun, so I probably would have gotten the reload off anyways, but I ain't even remotely concerned. And look at all the look at all the red dots down there. I'm not, I don't know why I tossed that nade, but I, I saw all the red, and I'm like... Maybe this will get someone, except it doesn't end. You're not going to crawl away from me, Carl. That, that's not how it works. There's just so many of them down there, and they don't even notice me. It's not like... It's not even like I'm trying to conceal myself. And now they're all gone, because my team is pushed up. And... Once again, you want to get up high. I don't think... I think I shoot maybe one gentleman. It's not even from up... Actually, I shoot this gentleman right here. But you want to get up high, because... They just don't stand a chance when you have the height advantage. Like, you will you won't lose very many, if any, gunfights from that high if you are anything but remotely good. And I don't revive the second gentleman, and I feel really, really bad about it because that cost us one ticket. Yeah, I try to go back from him, and it doesn't work. And, again, I'm sorry about... Oh, God, there's all this mucus in my nose. It's just, it's just so weird, but... There you saw... I... Okay, I carried for the first three bases. I shot everyone in their stupid face. And I see the mines and I'm like, I want to destroy them. Because I don't want my armor getting, the team's armor getting dunked on. And from this range, I'm just not accurate enough. I think I got hit markers on him. And look at this slime ball recon. What are you doing, bro? I, my recon cleans him up, but it's like... What? Like, I don't understand why people... Why people even do that? And as you'll see here, I didn't know what to do. I just I I just didn't know what to do anymore. Like Okay, the last the first three bases of Strike and Karkin Strike Strike at Karkin. Do I even English bro? Do I even English? Okay. Strike at Karkin and don't poke your head out. I will tap fire you for days, bro. For days. And you're not gonna get me and rise rat Mr. Cloth Monster. Okay, I Right there, I've taken a new policy on reviving. I will go for the quick revive, and if they don't, and if that doesn't work, you don't get a second chance most of the time. Unless, like, you're the only person in the area. And he, he doesn't count. And I never got this guy. I'm checking the corner. Oh, look, nobody's there. I should be fine. And then, he just, he just came out of nowhere. He just, uh, hey, bro. And uh, there are four, four teammates outside. I am sure one is an assault, but once again, no pick-me-up. But I ain't even mad, dude, because... I just spawned on the lab that finally pushed up, and yet again, there are so many good lurk spots inside that building there. I okay, let me put it to you this way: the first three bases, bases of Strike at Karkin, so easy to carry on. Like you saw me carry, it's just well, I'm just gonna shoot everybody and wait for my team to quit being idiots. And I don't quite get the guy up on the balcony. I believe he gets cleaned up by the lab. And rise and shine, bro. Because, once again, I'm the only guy even reviving. And I 
I make yet another mistake here, but this one's completely not only on me, and I pulled out the defense, and I'm like, maybe I'll get this guy, except it wasn't even him. It, that wasn't him. Okay, and you see that guy get destroyed. Okay, and now look at this. Look at the map. It's like, oh, look, it's Wally. I'll just play around with him with my pistol. Oh, great. A support tries it, and he... When I'm suppressing him with my pistol, because my accuracy is garbage, but when I'm suppressing him with the pistol, can't kill me, but... That's so frustrating, but we're back here, and you're probably saying, why didn't you finish him off? That's an engineer. You easily could have destroyed him. I know I have the teammate there, and I don't even want to risk losing another engagement. It's just, I have lost so many silly gunfights this game. I'm just like, no, and you chunk the guy. You wait a minute. You let him think he's safe, and no, that's not how it works. But like I was saying, you can easily carry on the first three bases of Strike at Karkin, but the last base both of these objectives are so easy to defend if you just have a gab fest on top of them like it's not even hard just lose one have gab fest on other win game and i you need a team that isn't garbage and good morning carl feel f i don't even know what he's doing anymore i just don't understand i think maybe he tried to aim down sights there i don't know but he should be hip firing and i yeah as you can tell he should be hip firing but at this point, I thought, oh, okay, there's plenty of tickets left, you know. And this is another thing I don't like about Strike at Karkin. The spawn is really weird. They have really easy access to B and B and A, and you can't really cut them off in any way. And, okay, you saw me toss the nade earlier, and you see those AT mines back there? I see them. You know, it'd be really easy to just chuck a nade and blow them up, right? But I don't have my nade anymore, and... My recon gets dunked on and I say, it's probably not a good idea to stay up here. Because, okay, I get, the, I get the one gentleman and I say, it's not a good idea to stay up here. I'm going to lose this engagement and, oh boy, here comes the lab to the rescue, right? Except he blows up the AT mines that have such a large blast radius that I get dunked on by the guy I just dunked a minute earlier. And, Carl, why are you trying to fly? I will save you except your body is all the way across the ocean. Oh, God. And this right here, this is really goofy, alright? You swim so slow in this game, and I try and get that guy with the Reeve, but but I can't quite get there in time, and... Okay. The guys... There's a guy right in front of me on the other side of this island who slaughters one of my teammates. I don't believe I get this guy right there. Okay, and look. I want to revive him, and I see the guy running away. Oh, I'll just shoot you in the... Don't chase after Carl. When he's swimming away. And I didn't get this. Like, how can I not climb up this side of it? And I just I just thought I was going to get shot in the back the entire time. He's like, I'm just exposing my entire body in the water. Feel free to shoot me. But I never got how I couldn't just climb up there. Just like, ah, no. That's, you can't climb up that side. I guess that, I guess that's to ensure the defending team doesn't, like, lurk up on these spots right here. Rise and shine, bro. But it. It doesn't work, like, it, it's counteractive, like, I can't go after the guy who just shot my teammate in the face, but I don't, I don't get it, I just don't get it, and rise and shine, Mr. Cloth Monster, no dying allowed on my watch, and this, this spot right here, it's pretty much the only spot you've got, and I saw red, and I'm like, is that the pipe, or is that a, if it's black, if, okay, again, if it's black, shoot it, it's probably a Russian. You've got 200 and something rounds with squad ammo on. Might as well use it. And this is really stupid. Don't rush in with your paddles, but Carl gets picked up by a teammate of mine, and that guy accepts the revive. And I know, I knew they were lurking up on that balcony. I knew if we could shoot them off, we could get the objective so easily. Because okay, look at the tickets. 25 tickets left. This is this is basically crunch time for me. Like, okay. There's that guy right there, and I don't quite get him. And Mr. Cloth Monster. I never got it. Like, my teammates would die so easily, and I just... Uh, I, I never got how I didn't die faster. And I see the I see the laser, but I can't quite get the, the dude, bro. And once again, Mr. Cloth Monster, you're no dying allowed on my watch, man. And... Wait for it. Smoke isn't going to save you, bro. Yet again. I... I think that's our team smoking, but 
I did. I don't agree with smoke. Like people always say, oh, smoke's an effective tactic to getting an objective when the team is camping. No, it's not. Okay, I don't even feel remotely comfortable running into smoke. And I wanted to revive this guy, but I knew if I died, that was probably. I knew if I died right here, that was probably GG no re. I did did not want, and I got so selfish about reviving him that I can't shoot Mr. Cloth Monster. And okay, you want a fucking medic? Here's a fucking. <laughs> I, the dialogue of the soldiers in this game is just so goofy, and I, I think it fits perfectly into the atmosphere of Battlefield, however. And, God, Amer the Americans in this le game are so loud. We will talk about that again some other day, but... I, that guy doesn't want the revive, and wait for it. I'm a giant idiot, alright? He hits me twice with his pistol, but not gonna, not gonna finish me off. Okay, and you saw what I did there. I was gonna push up with the lab, but the lab instantly got C4'd. And I get shot in the face because I didn't heal myself up. And you, okay. And you can sort of hear the music in the background. We're below five tickets and I thought, oh god, I, I messed up so bad. I played terrible this game. I'm, I'm horrible. I can't even carry a team, but another laugh rises out of the ashes. And with three tickets left, my team gets a miraculous plant. And literally, I had no idea what to do here. I legit had no idea what on earth I should do. I thought... Okay, I'll revive everybody that dies, except... Okay, Carl goes for a flight, but his his dead body kind of stayed there, but... I, I try and revive him twice there, but it doesn't work, and... I just don't know what to do anymore, like, uh, the objective's gonna go off, there's nobody over here, there's nobody for me to shoot. Cloth Monster gets picked up by somebody else, and that's game. Now you're probably, you're probably looking at your monitor and saying, why on earth did I watch this? Well, number one. I got ace pin, all right? I got ace pin, bro. Like, I'm very, very proud of that. And I, it's not the best of games, but it's a game, like you saw the, what was it? Seven consecutive mistakes. It's like, oh God. But besides that, the game was really, really good, I thought. But yet again, I put a little bit too much trust in my teammates. Need to play a little bit more cautiously, but I was pretty much the best player in the lobby. I. I don't want to sound like inside like I'm the best player in this lobby. It's just so easy, but I showed you the game because I carried the team the first three bases and the team didn't fail me on the last base. And that's something that I appreciate a lot when it happens. You know, I scratch your back, you somehow become competent and scratch mine. And I thought that was I thought that was so dandy. Even though they didn't revive me once, but okay, what I want to talk to you guys at this point, I know the game is really, really long, and you're probably like uh, I don't. I don't even want to hear you or li watch anything anymore. But to wrap up, I just want to say, okay, I've been playing the game in HD a lot more, and obviously, you know, the quality of my capture card is. Oh, what my what uh, what toaster oven did you record this in? What potato chip did you use to make this video? Uh, I'm so fun. No, okay. I I appreciate you guys putting up with the quality of my videos. For those of you who watch my videos, and I appreciate you guys for watching my videos and I just want to say I've been playing HD and I just play so much better in HD okay it's so much easier to see people it's my aim somehow becomes competent like I couldn't hit the broadside of the barn here with my pistol somehow I can like snipe people across the map all of a sudden when I in HD but okay the reason I'm talking about this is I will, I'm going to be a little bit selfish here and say I'm going to stay in HD and I'm going to like okay I'm going to play in HD myself a little bit more, and what that means is I'm not going to be able to upload as much. Even even though, like, oh, I just got baller internet, I can upload in the fraction of a second, I could totally make a video every two days if I wanted to, I'm not going to. And I just, I, I just want to be able to carry teams so much harder than I'm able to in SD, and I like, I'm still going to upload, but there won't be a set schedule, and... It'll be less frequently, but I hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it's not like I'm going to abandon this. I will still upload infrequently is the way I would put it, but I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Um, for your bonus clip, I'm going to show you, let's see, what can I show you for your bonus clip? Okay. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you some glitches that I have encountered in this game since I started capturing and it. I, I didn't experience like any other glitches besides these, but these all happened in like the span of four days. So I'll show you these glitches and I will see you guys next time. I don't know when that will be, but 
I will see you guys next time. This is Nozaki signing off. Until then.